Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I had a person email me this photograph today of a herring flying. It's a pretty cool photograph, and he wanted me to show him how to get the bird out of the picture. And then when back and forth emails, he wants to engrave the bird. I do all my photos uh, getting ready to be engraved out in the shop, and I don't have the internet hooked up and can't do a video. But Roy Brewer from Engraving Concepts, and if you don't know Mr. Brewer, you, you're uh, unfortunate because he's a unbelie unbelievable Corel laser person, been around longer than almost anybody, and, and knows more about Corel Draw than anybody I know. He's just he's incredible. So you could go watch it. So just search in YouTube laser engraving photo on wood macro. He's going to show you how to make a macro, but he does all the steps. And when you're following his video, you need to have some notes and pause his video and write some things down and do it in the order he suggests you do it. Now, but the reason I'm making this video is to get this figure right here so the gentleman can cut it out, engrave it, and cut it out. So when you do that, you basically want to have two pictures of the exact same size and do one the way Mr. Brewer does it and then hit P and put it in the center of the page and get it ready and then get it out of the way and do what I'm fixing to do to get this outline. Cause it, so that's really what the video is about. I've already done the bird uh, into a bitmap and it's really pretty cool and it, it might engrave, you know, who knows, but it wouldn't look as good as the one you're going to get ready the other way. So anyway, you take this JPEG, go to bitmap, convert it to a bitmap, and we're going to use grayscale just because if you, I normally use black and white, but if you use black and white, it'll take out way too much. So hit OK. Now trace bitmap, or if you don't have your trace right here, under bitmaps, outline trace. I usually normally use clip art. I'm going to use high quality image for this photograph because it's a high quality image. This is going to take just a second. And, uh, you know, you can play around with it, but it doesn't really matter on the quality of the bitmap that's traced. We're just trying to break it apart where we can convert it, can, can get an outline. We can get a border around it. So that's what my video is about. It's done. I'm going to hit OK. Now, most of the time, the, the trace version is on top, and it is. So I'm going to hit P on the center of the keyboard. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Now I'm going to ungroup everything. Now if you watch some of my videos, I use the Alt key with the pick with the pick tool. If I click on that, it just deletes that. But if I take this and hit the Alt key, well, I don't want to get the bird. I don't want any part of the bird. It's going to get all the grays that it touched because the Alt key is selecting anything that the pick tool is touching any part of the of it and then just hit delete and to get rid of these other ones so we're get rid of we're getting rid of the background uh, and this will take just a second I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit and that's this is why you want to use the alt key because uh, you can't really do it use it around the bird but you could it saved you a lot of steps and we're done now we're going to take this and we're going to go up to the weld tool but we're going to create a boundary now we want to set our nudge factor on six inches or, or so get it out of the way now you could bring in your bird that you just got ready for the photo engraving let's get rid of this bird for a minute Bring in this photograph that you got prepared for the laser and then go back six inches and your cutout will be right on top of where it needs to cut out. That's pretty cool. And that's why you could cut this bird out and uh, engrave them all at the same time. And this particular image might even engrave, you know, especially on wood. It, 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 you might even want to try it without even processing it by just turning it grayscale. Things will surprise you. 
but watch Mr. Brewer's video, and that's how you would create a border and cut out a bird and a JPEG. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.